Welcome back to Semper Inter TV guys, the channel dedicated to keeping Inter fans up to date with what's going on in the world of Inter and today we're back again with an episode of Stat Talk where Cami and I look at Y Scout data for potential players that Inter should be signing depending on the needs of the team and today we're looking at the left wing back position. As we know Antonio Conte prefers a three at the back formation and Inter looks like he will be continuing with the 3-5-2 formation as per the pre-season friendlies and the left wing back position in that formation is uh, really key. In that position currently Inter have two players Cuadro Azamora and Dalbert. Although Dalbert has been somewhat impressing in the pre-season friendlies and Azamora as we said is a solid option in that position we feel that position still needs a stressing as you know Dalbert is not good enough to be the backup choice or he's not good enough to challenge us more for that position. With Dalbert seemingly headed for the exit door after two below par years and Inter manager Antonio Conte admitting Ivan Persic is not suited to the role, Inter need to bring the left wing back to compete with Cuadro Asamoah. While Asamoah is certainly a solid option defensively, he is not as good going forward. Therefore, Inter should be looking for a more attacking, creative-minded alternative to the Ghanaian. The first player we're going to look at is Fiorentina's Cristiano Baraghi. The 26-year-old had 3.64 successful attacking actions per 90 minutes and 6.48 successful defensive actions per 90 minutes this past season. He made 5.3 crosses per 90 minutes, which is double that of Asamoah and had a success rate of just over 41%. He tallied 5 assists, which was the most of any left wing back in the league last season. Bragg has an excellent left foot and decent ability on the ball, and as an Inter Academy graduate, he would help Inter fulfil UEFA competition squad requirements if he were to be signed. He would, however, more than likely be looking to come in and be a starter, and his defensive lapses and lack of European experience are both weaknesses that are hard to overlook. The next player is Torino's Ola Aina, who particularly impressed us with his performances last season. He has been a victim of Chelsea's loan system, having been shipped out on loan to Hull previously, but has now managed to find a permanent home in Turin, and has also managed to establish himself in the Nigerian national team. He is very solid defensively, likes to get forward, and can boast having the third best cross accuracy not only in Italy, but across Europe's top five leagues last season. He attempted 2.75 crosses per 90 minutes with an impressive accuracy of just over 45%. He made 2.05 progressive runs per 90 minutes and had 4.76 and 7.63 successful attacking and defensive actions per 90 minutes respectively. Aina, who is also capable of playing on the opposite flank, has only just joined Torino permanently after a successful loan spell, but that is not to say that Inter could not sign him if they truly wanted. Moving outside of Italy, we have Real Betis' Christian Tello. The former Barcelona player, who broke out onto the scene as a winger, is now performing pretty well at wing-back for his current employers. The 27-year-old made 2.15 progressive runs per 90 last season and had the fifth most successful attacking actions per 90 in Europe's top five leagues with 6.97. He also ranked fifth in Europe's top leagues when it came to assists from left wing-back as he tallied six. He had just shy of four successful defensive actions per 90 and had a 43.64% cross success rate with him making 2.88 crosses per 90 minutes played. He definitely would have to work a lot on his defensive game if he was wanting to impress Conte, but Conte has however proved in the past with players like Emmanuel Giaccherini and Victor Moses that he is able to turn attacking players into all-rounders who are comfortable both attacking and defending. Next, we have Eintracht Frankfurt's Filip Kostic. The Serbian had the most goals and assists of any left wing back in Europe's top 5 leagues last season with 5 and 10 respectively. He made 6.5 crosses per 90 minutes played with a 32% success rate and had above 6 successful attacking and defensive actions per 90 minutes. He also made 2.6 progressive runs per 90. These stats show just exactly how industrious he is and that he is capable both in attack and in defence. Finally, we have Benfica's Alex Grimaldo. The Spaniard played almost exclusively as a left-back last season, but we believe he'd be more than capable of playing at wing-back too, based on his stats. He had the joint third-most assists in the Portuguese Primeira League with 10, 
and showed that he had an eye for goal too as he found the back of the net four times. He made 2.17 progressive runs per 90 and made 3.22 crosses per 90 with a 41.38% success rate. He had 4.5 successful attacking actions per 90 and just about 6 successful defensive actions per 92. Inter have really lacked a set piece taker in the year since Wesley Schneider departed but would gain one if they were to go in for Grimaldo who takes a lot of set pieces for the Portuguese giants. Our choice would be Philip Kostic. The 26 year old's numbers really speak for themselves and he is certainly deserving of a move to a bigger club than Frankfurt with all due respect to them. Alex Grimaldo would also be another solid choice, particularly because of his set piece ability, but we are favouring Kostic in this instance due to the fact he's playing in a better quality league. Kostic has truly been one of the standout players for Frankfurt over the last year or so and was instrumental in them reaching the latter stages of the Europa League last season. His penchant for attacking and whipping balls into the box to the likes of Sebastian Haller and Luka Jovic is exactly what Inter need next season, with Conte clearly wanting two strong strikers leading the line. Moreover, Benfica are notorious for selling their talents at extortionate prices, and with Inter focusing the majority of the budget on the strike force, Grimaldo would be a very hard target to acquire. Out of the players we have named, who would be your choice, or would you pick someone else that we have not named? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy this content on the channel, let us know by liking and subscribing. If there's a player or topic you want us to look at on Stat Talk, let us know too. Great contribution as always, Cami. Thank you for the wonderful insight and the stats. We have gone for Philip Kostic as our choice. What do you guys think? We feel that his uh, attacking ability especially, the quality of his left foot would really bring an extra edge to this, uh, to this team. You know, similar to what Marcos Alonso brought to the Chelsea team under Antonio Conte. As always guys, please like and subscribe and comment down below what your thoughts on the episode and who would you like us to have a look at next? You know, if there's any specific players or position that you want us to have a look at, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll listen to you. So thank you for watching guys and uh, see you on the next one. Ciao!